Welcome crypto traders. Today's tutorial is all about alerts. Check out our mouse at the top of the chart here. We can click this to open the alert menu. Let's just start from the very basics. The alert menu is how you create highly specific and custom alerts that will alert you when certain things happen on the chart. For example, if BTC USD, because we're looking at a chart of BTC USD, were to cross the price, let's type in 30,000, we would get an alert when that day or moment or event happens. So we can just go ahead and actually call this alert BTC USD 30,000 alert. And then we have a message here that says BTC USD crossing 30,000. But remember, we can be as detailed as we want. So we could just say this is an example video. Let's go ahead and click create. And what we've just done is we've created an alert on our chart that will let us know the second Bitcoin crosses 30,000. Check out this green line here on our chart. Even when we hover our mouse over it, it shows us the name BTC USD. 30,000 alert. So if Bitcoin at any point were to suddenly climb up and cross 30,000, we would get an alert sent to us. And by the way, when you have an alert on your chart, there are two important things to keep in mind. One, when you right click and go to your chart settings, well, you can see events here. So you click that and you get to toggle this line on and off. So whether you want to show the line going across your chart, it's up to you, or you can just have this little green arrow. In addition, you have full control over the color customizations of the alert lines that you have on your chart. For the sake, let's keep it green. In addition, when you do create your alerts, keep in mind that right here you have in another alerts button, but this button is incredibly important to master and understand in the world of alerts because what you will see and find here is a full and complete detailed overview and log of all the alerts you have ever created. So as you can see, we're scrolling down and these are all the alerts that we've ever created. This means we can study our alerts. We can review them. We can look at what worked and what didn't, whether we stop them, whether some are active, whether some are not active or have already been triggered. It's all right here. So when you get really good at alerts, this is your home base to mastering the next step of alerts. You can even keep track of the alerts you have available to you. You have price alerts and technical alerts. You also have some wonderful options for sort sorting your alerts. So you can sort by alphabetical order or by date created or time triggered. You have this plus icon, which you can also create an alert with and some super important additional settings in case you want to make bulk actions such as restarting all of your inactive alerts with one click or removing all of your inactive alerts with one click or totally customizing the look and feel of all of the alerts in this list. Now we did just mention something important, which is the technical alerts and price alerts. So we just want to make sure you know just how powerful the alerts feature is on TradingView. And that is the fact that you can create alerts with drawing tools or you can create alerts with indicators. That's right. We're going to show you an example right now. If we were to, for example, add a horizontal line on our chart at a point where we think there is some support. So as you can see, price hit and bounced, price hit and bounced. Thus, we think this horizontal line is important. We can right click on the chart and click add alert on horizontal line. And yep, you guessed it. We can create a highly custom alert specifically for this horizontal line. So BTC USD support line. In addition, when we click notifications, we can fully customize the way we want our alerts to be delivered to us. We can get notified in the app. We can get a pop-up. We can get an email. We can even customize our own webhook if we have an app, website, chat room, anything of the sort, and even have full control over the sound that we want to hear, whether it's a handbell or just a three notes reverb. So that is something that's very important for alerts is that you can create alerts on drawing tools. Look at that icon right here. This horizontal line now supports an alert. And don't forget one final thing before we head out of here is that we just added a moving average to our chart. We're going to actually open this moving average up quick and turn it into a 50 day moving average. So now we have a 50 day moving average on our chart and you probably are ready to see what we're going to do here, which is add an alert on this moving average. Yep. You can create a custom alert specifically attached to this moving average. 
So if price were to ever cross it, you would get notified immediately. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you get started with alerts and use them to make the platform work for you. Let it do all the heavy lifting. It will scan markets for you at all times until specific events are triggered.